Reach for the sky. So this is the prop for this year. As you can see, they are revolvers, a Western revolver. And what it is, as you can see, there's a piece of wood here that's been sort of sawed down and it can accept a uh, piece of PVC pipe here. And in the PVC pipe there is a, uh, a light bulb. You can see it's a C7 light bulb that you might find on an old Christmas tree. Um, I had these, they actually were used for some old light up pumpkins. Like they had this, basically had this little socket that would go into a hole in the back of the pumpkin. And I thought, hey, this I could use this for something else. So what I did is I just cut this, um, the pipe here and then normally it would slide into the pumpkin, it just slides into this pipe. And the nice thing is the way I did this, two pieces, both screwed in. If this burns out or something and I have to get to it, I can just assemble it and get it out, right? That's the problem. If you like glued it in there or something and it, and it burnt out, you'd be sort of in trouble. Um, so the cord goes out the back and down here. And this here is just the doorbell, which is hooked up to a, tr to, um, a trigger mechanism on a Pico FX, which I'll show you a little later. And it works great, right? You just press this button and, and it shoots. And I got from the internet, I got some different um, pistol sounds. There's actually four of them in a loop, so that it's, it's not the same thing every time. So it's slightly different. And this, one, and this is actually a completely separate mechanism. This trigger, there's another Pico FX. And that's kind of simple, very simple, uh, very similar to some cannons I had done in the past. Um, and that was my idea. It's like, hey, just do like what I did for the cannons, but do them for pistols. So this way we'll have some gunfighters. They can like shoot at the guests and stuff like that. Because as you can see, it's a uh, Western theme. And just to show you a little bit more. Now the, these cords, they run back here. And as you can see, here are some... Pico FX's, right? It's plugged in there. The the speaker wire is plugged into the Pico FX, and here's some uh, some speakers back here, and basically that's how it works. So if this gives anyone any ideas, um, have fun.